Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out the Sire H7. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today and welcome to the first demo in our Sire Guitars mini series. Now, since Sire Guitars has partnered up with Larry Carlton for this lineup, I figured, well, we best kick things off with the H7. Now, before we plug it in, let's take a quick tour through the H7. Now, of course, I'll link to it in the video description below so you guys can get all the detailed specs, but here are some of the highlights. Let's start up on the headstock. Now, I just wanna mention something about the Sire headstock shape. I think they did a really good job on it. It's kind of tricky business when you do a three plus three design to kind of create your own brand identity uh, without looking too simple or too ornate or whatever. I think they struck a nice balance here. So all their, the Sire three plus three guitars have that same headstock shape. Uh, the Sire logo um, and the Larry Carlton, I think looks really good on that headstock. Um, so overall, I think they did a really nice job there. Now, in terms of what tuning machines we get on this guitar, uh, they're just listed as Sire Premium Sealed Tuning Machines. So they're unbranded on the back, but they do feel quite nice. So overall, I think that's really good. Now, moving on to the nut. Yes, we get a bone nut, really nice. And of course, when you're dealing with a three plus three design, you wanna have a really nicely cut uh, nut so that the string does not hang up there. That's where like 90% of the tuning issues come from. So it's great to have a bone nut. Now the neck is made out of mahogany and the fingerboard is ebony. So that's nice. Usually ebony is kind of reserved for higher end models. And I've got to say, you know, the, the inlays really well done on this guitar. Sometimes on, you know, budget or mid-range brands, you can see they use generous amounts of filler, which you know, doesn't really matter, but here it's nice not to see that. So those inlays are really well done, um, especially when I consider what, you know, it competes against in the market. So uh, fretwork, we'll take a look at that at the end when we look at the really detailed uh, view of this guitar, but I will say it's a strength of this instrument. Really nice fretwork on this one. Now, moving on to the body, flame maple top, really nice. This is in their cherry burst finish. They also have black, white, um, see-through red and vintage sort of like a vintage sunburst so yeah anyway i'll just kind of give you guys a shot of how they kind of sprayed the finish on really nice grain on the back as well so maple body on the back sides and top and a maple block running through the center so kind of very very you know a traditional way to make a semi-hollow body guitar so really nice and in terms of the pickups here we've got sort of the larry carlton vintage humbuckers so we'll take a listen to those in a second and other than that no real big surprises we'll talk about the f-holes the construction all at the end uh, so stay tuned for that but yeah it's just in terms of like the overall highlights two volumes two tones three-way switch you know two nomadic bridge stop tail piece classic stuff for sure but yeah really gorgeous top on this one so that's kind of like the overall highlights let's plug it in and take a listen well you guys it's time to plug it in so we're going to start in the neck pickup work our way to the bridge just playing clean gotta say this cherry burst finish is gorgeous love that so here we go we'll play some lead lines uh, some chords that kind of stuff <laughs> Yeah, really nice bright full tone. Let's try rolling that uh, the tone back a little bit here. Yeah, great, really dynamic. So these uh, tone pots work really well. Let's try middle position here. Yeah. 
Yeah, great. And we're going to go to the bridge here. Grab the wrong volume there. <laughs> so yeah, really sizzly and bright. Uh, lots of good tones on there. Let's add a little bit of gain. <laughs> Now that we've had a quick listen to this guitar in isolation, I'm going to jam over a backing track and do sort of like a blues fusion kind of thing. Should be a lot of fun. Let's take a listen. Now it's time to look at this guitar a little bit closer up. It's one thing to look at an instrument from far away, but when you zoom in, you really get a clearer picture of what this guitar is built like. So let's start by looking at the nut. As I mentioned, it's a bone nut, and when we look at the slots, well, it's cut really nice. So that means it's low right here, so when you're doing you know, your F or your B flat or your C, whatever kind of chords you're doing down there, it's gonna stay in tune. Sometimes uh, manufacturers leave it a little bit too high to try to eliminate fret buzz along the way. They kind of cheat it a little bit high, and then when you play these chords, you always wonder why they're not in tune. Here it's cut really nice and low, um, which is awesome. And you can see a little bit of staining on the nut from the fingerboard when you zoom in really close, but you know, with the naked eye looking like this, you can't see that at all. So overall, I would say very nice on the nut. Now, when we look at the fretwork, well, it gets even better. The front faces are nice and smooth right from the factory, no grittiness, so slides and bends feel really good. So you can tell they spent a little bit more time. You know, they're not like super duper ultra shiny, but they're really nice, especially when you consider the price range. So great fret work. Uh, when we look at the fret ends, well, this has to do with the comfort of the guitar. Really nice molded fret ends, uh, polished up really good all the way up to the top. So great job on the fret work. And when we look super close at the frets, well, you can see how contoured they are. Uh, yeah, when you look close up, you really see what the fret works like. And that just makes uh, this guitar feel great. And when you look at the area in between the frets, you can see it's kind of rolled, which again, on a guitar with binding, you do not see lo a lot. So that just kind of all adds up to make a really, really nice neck um, that yeah, just the competition doesn't have. Now, when we look at that picture again of the close-up fretwork, you can see again a little bit of that staining uh, bleeding onto the binding. Uh, 
you know, you're not going to see it when you look super close up, but when you zoom in, you do see that. So overall, really clean when we look at those edges. Um, but yeah, you can see a little bit of that staining when you zoom way in. Now, one of the first things I do when I look at a semi hollow body guitar is check out number one, the F holes, because that just kind of shows you the time and the effort that's gone into this guitar. Um, and here I can say they're really nice. So I'll take some close up shots, but they're really clean. So overall, you know, really impressed with the, you know, the F holes on this very clean, very precise. So you love to see that. Now, the second thing I always like to check is if there's any tipping forward on the posts. <laughs> and here I can say no tipping forward. So sometimes, you know, you'll see the bridge, most often the stop tail piece there, uh, just kind of like pulled forward over time, all the tension on those strings. Here it's nice and straight. So there you guys go. Binding looks really good too. Just take some shots for you guys. So overall, Sire did a great job in terms of the overall construction on this model. And I think they really did focus on areas they knew players would appreciate, like great fretwork, rolled fingerboard edges, you know, ebony fingerboard, a nut that's cut properly so you can just pick it up and play it. All of these things contribute to you just wanting to play the guitar more, which is really important when you're talking about buying an instrument um, and, you know, loving it long term. So great job in terms of, you know, the features on the neck, which I think do translate into some great playability. Um, and other than that, just a really solid guitar. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the demo. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I will link to the guitar in the video description below. You can check it out there. Other than that, have yourself a great day. Take care.